My friend, what's good? Welcome to another video. If we haven't met yet, my name is Ted and I talk bass. As you can see, I'm in the middle of a little bit of a remodel project, look a little grimy, you know. Anyway, a few months ago, I posted a video, which I'll link right there, of me playing with a bunch of homies in New Orleans playing the song, I Get High On You by Sly Stone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I approach the song. Let me say that one more time, how I I approach the song, okay? I'm not Bobby Vega. What he does with a pick is pretty amazing. I don't really play with a pick, say for special occasions like this. And for this whole thing, I don't know if you can see it. I'm using a MXR blowtorch, it's a, it's a bigger pick. So without further ado, let's get into it. Don't say nothing about that stuff over there. I'm still in the middle of this project, so you know. Um, C. Let's start there. There's C, the flat seven octave. If you play funk music at all, you know, you know that shape. First finger, C. First, first finger, B flat. Pinky, C. But where the, like the grease is in this is what you are, sorry what's happening with the uh, with the wrist that's the first part down and I'm going down down and the hammer on down again when I come to see I don't know how guitar players be explaining in their tutorials down up down Anyway, another thing is this palm muting that's happening in my right hand, okay? It's not, I'm not, I'm just resting it there. I'm just trying to mute those strings. Down, down, okay? That's the next part. Down, up, down. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Did I miss a part? I lied. That was an upstroke. That was an upstroke on the B flat. Down, up. So reverse what I said earlier. Up, down, up. Ah. Upstroke on the B flat. And then G. See what I'm saying? So that's four, sharp four, five, flat seven. Motions like this, I think you can, uh, you know, I always say this. Uh, you can turn those into little exercises. They're going to come up somewhere else anyway, right? Now, for the second part, the second half of that groove, I'm going up, flat seven. But I'm doing it up here because I'm going to play the flat seven, I'm sorry, the flat three higher. So B flat, B, C, E flat. Thank you. 
doesn't happen every time, but it is a thing that happens. Open G, B flat, open G, A, E flat. So what I find uh, or what I found when trying to get this under my fingers is to, you know, take it super slow. Again, playing with a pick is not something that I normally do, but um, yeah, take it slow at, with everything. Right. Listen to the record. I, you ain't going to sound like Bobby Vega. I'm not going to sound like Bobby Vega. You're going to sound like you doing your interpretation of what Bobby Vega did. Likewise, I sound like me doing an interpretation of what I think Bobby Vega did. So, you know, don't be in my comments talking about any high. I'm just messing around. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. This is the first video with the new space. I got to put some stuff back here. I'm looking forward to talking to you about that. If you have any questions about that, if you if you like it, if you don't like it, if it sucks or whatever, <laughs> it doesn't suck. It looks great. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, whatever. If not, I'm coming to your house. But you know I'm not really coming to your house. So anyway, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Two fingers.